Well, the sun now out longer, so are the snakes Ooh. of South Carolina. There we go. More than 5 million people live in the Palmetto State. We're lucky enough to share our home with 38 species of snakes. A lot of snakes. Most are harmless. But in this moment of science, meteorologist Brian Bachman tells us which snakes are slithering around your backyard. South Carolina is home to over 5 million people, and we're all lucky enough to share our home with 38 species of snake. Most are harmless, but there are a few venomous species you'll really want to do your best to avoid. I spoke with James Travers at the Greenville Zoo about the snakes you should be watching out for in our area. In South Carolina, we do have a couple dangerous species, and right here in Greenville County, we do have to look out for copperheads, as well as timber rattlesnakes, and there's also a smaller, less likely rattlesnake that you might meet called the, called the pygmy rattlesnake. Copperheads are about three to four feet long, with a combination of brown, red, and yellow for their coloring. Think about the colors of the leaves on the ground in the fall, and those are the colors that are on a copperhead. Timber rattlers are closer to five feet long and have more distinct markings. You see um, more gray sort of background color with, with brown blotches and markings along the back um, and they actually have sort of um, sort of like a little black mask on or, you know kind of around their eyes as well. You'll see these smaller pygmy rattlesnakes closer to the Midlands. James says while most snakes tend to be good about staying away from people it is certainly not a guarantee. One of the times where people might encounter them is if they're out in the woods or hiking and walking along the edge of trails and such, um, the snake might hear or feel you coming, might feel your footsteps, and if you get a little too close, it, it might strike and um, to, in, to defend itself. If you see a black rat snake or a corn snake sunning in the yard, you're okay. These tiny snakes may give you a little bit of a jump, but they're so small that they can't even open their mouths wide enough to bite you. They eat a lot of garden pests too, so you may want to think twice before evicting them. If you keep your yard clean, don't leave a lot of trash, or keep your trash in you know appropriate containers and stuff, that will keep down the number of small mammals that will be coming into your yard looking for snacks, like possums or rats or mice. Um, and if you limit that, then you're going to also limit the number of snakes that are that are going to be visiting your yard. Remember, the safest thing to do is leave a snake alone. I don't suggest anybody handling snakes if they don't know what they are. Brian Bachman. Fox Carolina News.